What's up, everybody? I'm the Goju Ryu philosopher, and today we're going to be covering one of the most controversial proponents of Goju in the American karate community. This will be the first video in this series covering a Goju Ryu practitioner who was not from either Japan or Okinawa, and will also be the last video in this series that focuses on a single practitioner, at least for a while. After this, I'm planning on taking a look back in time and understanding how Goju Ryu was spread and developed as well as investigating some of the milestones in the art's development in more detail. But for the time being, welcome back to the history of Goju Ryu as we cover the controversial Goju of Peter Urban. Peter Urban was born in 1934 in New Jersey and would spend his childhood on the East Coast, either in Pennsylvania or New Jersey for most of his childhood. As a young boy, he was interested in many martial arts, including those which were being introduced from Japan as a result of the end of the Second World War. His interests in boxing and jiu-jitsu were the beginning of a lifelong interest in combat sports and martial arts. After high school, Urban would enlist in the U.S. Navy and would be stationed in Yokohama, Japan. While there, he met Richard Kim, another American with a history of studying Japanese martial arts, whose work had introduced him to several karateka, as well as judoka, and proponents of Daitoryu Aiki Jiu-Jitsu, the foundation of Aikido. Urban began to study martial arts under Kim, until he was transferred to Tokyo in 1954. This time in Tokyo was the beginning of his introduction to Japanese karateka, and was where he was first introduced to his teacher, Yamaguchi Gogen Jitsumi. Urban's relationship with Yamaguchi would be complicated but meaningful, but I'd like to first briefly mention that Peter Urban had another teacher. Oyama Masutatsu, better known as Masoyama, the founder of Kyokushinkai, was another acquaintance of Richard Kim, and Urban trained under him for some time as well. Oyama had opened his dojo recently and took on Peter Urban as a result of his connection with Richard Kim. However, despite this relationship, Urban credits Yamaguchi as being his primary teacher, so I'd like to examine their relationship in a little more detail. Peter Urban was Yamaguchi's student for around five years, from 1954 to his discharge from the Navy in 1959 when he returned to America. During this time, he continued to train under his two other teachers, but primarily studied with Yamaguchi and was rapidly promoted through the belt ranking system. After his six years in Japan and only five years under Yamaguchi, he was presented with a fifth dan black belt, coincidentally the same rank as the highest belts awarded by Shotokan founder Funakoshi Gichin. This was the first, but by no means the only, controversy concerning the connection between Urban and Yamaguchi, as the speed of his ranking outstripped even many of Yamaguchi's other students. During his training and service in Japan, Urban took part in the first All Japan Collegiate Championship and also met a woman named Ito Meiko, who would go on to become his wife and return to America with him. On his return from the service in 1959, Urban began promoting Yamaguchi's Goju Kai in his home of Union City, New Jersey. Urban established his first dojo, then his second dojo, and eventually taught at several locations, including Chinatown in New York City, where he amassed a fair number of students. After some time teaching in the United States, Urban would make one more fateful trip to Japan to meet with his old teacher Yamaguchi Jitsumi and petition for an increase in rank to 6th dan, as well as permission to run his dojo in the United States in a more independent capacity. Yamaguchi refused this request. Urban quotes him as saying that a Westerner can never achieve nirvana and therefore cannot be a master of karate. Urban then decided to break ties with Yamaguchi and his Goju Kai, declaring that the feudal system still exists in Japan. I believe karate should build seekers, not followers. He founded the USA Goju organization on his return to America and received a promotion from Richard Kim, making him a sixth dan black belt. There are several theories as to why Yamaguchi and Urban split, but the most compelling has to do with Yamaguchi's plans for the Goju Kai, his own organization. In 1961, Yamaguchi's son Gosen had opened a dojo in San Francisco, and the current president of Goju Kai, Yamaguchi Gosei, had followed his younger brother in 1964, around the time that Urban was petitioning for his increase in rank. Around the same time, Shotokan Karate was beginning its spread to the United States, and one year prior to Urban's return from service, the Japan Karate Association had sent representatives to spread their style. It's possible that Urban was given an inflated rank in order to stand out among the JKA and to promote Yamaguchi's Goju Kai in America. However, by the time he returned to his former teacher, Yamaguchi had established his sons as the successors to his style both in Japan and America. Urban did not consent to allowing Yamaguchi's sons to take over his dojo, which was ultimately the cause of their split. Peter Urban's rank has also received a lot of skepticism, especially due to the nature of Shotokan's ranking system. While five or six years is a rather rapid time frame to obtain a fifth dan or sixth dan rank by modern standards, 
The ranking system had only recently been adopted to karate when Peter Urban became a student. Funakoshi Gichin only promoted his students to fifth dan, the rank that he was granted by the Dainippon Butoku Kai during his lifetime, but certain Shotokan lineages nowadays have a variety of practices, some maintaining fifth dan as their highest rank, while others adopt the more standard ten dan ranks. However, Funakoshi passed away in 1957, so there were no students who had been promoted above fifth dan in the major Shotokan organizations of the time. This led Urban's ranks of fifth and later sixth dan to be equivalent or senior to all ambassadors of Shotokan, regardless of the differences in the length of their training experiences. Furthermore, while Urban may have split with Yamaguchi over the issue of control of his dojo, he kept the fifth dan rank and received a sixth dan rank from Richard Kim after training in San Francisco. Urban was a charismatic and talented writer and wrote several books, including The Karate Dojo and Karate Psychology. He would later court further controversy by promoting himself to 10th dan, a rank traditionally reserved for founders of a style. There are very few living 10th dan karateka in any style, with the most famous currently surviving Goju Ryu 10th dan being Higao Namorio sensei, who only received that rank in 2007 when he was nearly 70 years old. So this raises the question, was Urban's 10th dan rank legitimate? Technically speaking, no. He was not recognized by any governing party of martial arts, nor did he have his rank certified by a grading organization. By the institutional standards that we are used to today, Urban had no official claim to the rank of 10th dan. However, it is arguable that he created a distinct enough style to be considered the founder of a new tradition, and that despite its lack of institutional recognition, this could be considered a valid reason for him to assume that rank. Whether his style and his instruction lives up to his 10th dan rank is for the individual martial artist to decide and not any institution. Despite the numerous controversies surrounding him, Urban continued to teach and spread USA Goju. He created or adapted several additional kata to add to his system, including a unique version of Yamaguchi's Taikyoku kata, an elbow strike kata named MP Ha, an interpretation of the Ryue Ryu kata Anan known as Han, a kata named Kururuntha with no apparent relation to the Kururuntha practiced by other lineages of Goju Ryu, and a bow kata using a shepherd's staff. He may have retained the original Kururuntha as well, since certain lineages descended from him have versions that are clearly related to the ones that myself and other goju Ryu lineages have practiced. The USA Goju organization slowly began to authorize students of Urban to open their own dojos. While USA Goju proclaimed itself to be the source of all goju Ryu in the United States, this is no longer true, since the IOGKF, Shodeikan, Goju Kai, Meibukan, and many other organizations have established branched dojos in the United States. However, urban students did create a large number of organizations and offshoots, too many to mention, and much of America's goju Ryu community owes a debt to Peter Urban for their introduction to the art. Peter Urban eventually passed away in 2004, passing the torch to several other karateka. Out of respect for his passing, the USA Goju organization ceased authorizing new Goju halls and now only authorizes sub-halls of previously recognized dojos. His legacy was full of controversy to the very end, but his influence was almost unmatched in America. Peter Urban was incredibly important in spreading the martial arts, and Goju Ryu in particular, to America. Thank you so much for watching this episode of History of Goju Ryu. If you haven't already, feel free to check out the rest of the History of Goju Ryu series, in particular the episode on Urban's teacher, Yamaguchi Jitsumi. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and also leave a comment letting me know where you'd like to see me go with this series. As I mentioned at the start of this video, I'm taking a break from profiling Goju Ryu masters and will instead be looking into other historical topics. If you want to see more of the history of Goju Ryu when they come out, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification icon so you can see when I upload. I've been the Goju Ryu philosopher, and go out there and fight some tigers!